Look at that, ladies and gentle bitches. When you have Pop Crave tweeting about you, that's the biggest win that you could get, in my opinion, as like a small up and coming artist. Once I've like caught a little wind of Rachel and like her kind of like online presence, one of the most genuine, like sweet, like seems like she really loves her like little community that she's built. Like she's been on her grind. This is the cover. The album is called What a Devastating Turn of Events. Look at this, dude. I mean, the photography is great. She planned out the photo shoot for it too. Like she wanted this to symbolize like her probably in like different parts of her life, being a, 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 a fan of whatever country that is. Is that the English flag? I don't know flags, dude. I thought the UK flag was the one with the fucking Union Jack. What do you mean this is the UK? Oh my God, other people are offended. I'm sorry. Also, fuck me up one of those trampolines, dude. I will get aerobic on that bitch. Have me in that, just like this. Bounce on that shit, damn, damn. Bounce also being this. responsible, taking out the trash. What's like the British term? Oh, they've all left. Clocking in with 14 songs. 49 minutes and 30 seconds. That is an album, ladies and gentlemen, bitches. Let's go. Produced by Rich Turvey and APOB, Aaron Paul O'Brien. The first track is Garden of Eden. The playground. Oh, this filter. Why does it feel like I'm in a memory? Um, I think we should record that. Oh! Oh, that distorted guitar, I hear you. I hope oh. the deeper things I said. What are said? Tell me what? I thought at least I could. This is where it all went wrong. No oh. point in trying to prove yourself to them. There's no point oh. in anything. Wow. Dude, you can feel that kind of like wavering conflictedness in the way that that kind of like post chorus hits. Very cool instrumental to kind of like provide an intro to this. Like she's letting us know coming into this album, shit has been fucked up. The rubbish has hit the fan. What's the name for a fan, Leah? Like a ceiling fan? Do y'all call that one? The, the, the... It's a lot of drums. It's very percussion heavy, but there are little plucked strings. It sounds like chords almost like happening in each of the ears. That and the bass kind of moving is creating kind of the structure to it. I, got it in. There's no point in anything. I love the My God line. That like, my God, I'm never win. Like the slide down. It makes you feel like she's really like looking up and she's like being affected by these like life altering events. No boy to try oh, I to love the guitars, man. Oh, I question who you are from deep within. My God, you never win. There's no point in any. Well, maybe I'm just trying to stay young. Oh, wow! Woo <laughs> hoo The kids are throwing up in the garden. Such a unique vocal tone as well, dude. Like genuinely something that I don't feel like I've heard come from any part of like a pop sphere, you know? It's not a whisper. It's not like a belt. She just has that kind of like singer songwriter still in her where you feel these lyrics. You feel this kind of like level to the song. It's a great start to the album. Next up, she's making the safe play. She's making the good album move. We're getting one of the singles, The Hills.
guitar. Oh my fucking crazy guitar work. Loving all the little feedback transitions into it. Really feels like she knows her shit. And the vocals, they don't get buried in that mix. She's right there, dude. So fucking heavy. Something that I feel like I need. And you're telling me it's from the UK? The tea sippers? Let's rock. Have you ever noticed that your house don't feel like home? Oh. I'm sorry, Rachel. The song bops, dude. It's like, I'm literally like dancing on it and she's like, I am at the my lowest point right now. And I'm just like. Have you noticed that your house doesn't feel like a home in a room that you've outgrown, scrubbing at the writing on the walls? She's trying to erase what's been clearly told to her. Pen game, dude. Strong start to an album, bro. We're about to get into another one, and it's another single. Never Need Me. This is the one that I honestly have been bumping the most. It just, it, it, it rocks. Listen to that little bubbling. Richard! A cool in the dead of the night is strange, but it's like you delight. Dude, they keep that arpeggio going too. He's like, nah, let me keep it going in the back. And the acoustic. Oh, great claps. the space that she takes a little bit to take that breath between that verse and that pre, we get a little fuzzy synth. Ah. The producing, dude, it's just, it's stellar, man. They just get each other. It's still there! Rich is just like, I'll turn it down a little bit more. Can, can we just have no instruments for a second? Like maybe, maybe one best I can do is turn it down. Back on her butt up buzz? Yeah, she's fantastic. Her writing is so special in the way that it just feels like it's being written by just a super relatable person. Like, it's just like, yeah, like I would say this shit, you know? Like I've moved on and, and I hope that you like never need something from me because truthfully, I'm just not. Like she's even bringing up like willing to help, but unless unless they change it, there's nothing that she could really do, you know? Really vulnerable and simple and great songwriting coming from Miss Rachel. All right, the next tune is My Everything. Oh, she's getting so weird. Let's go. I wish I could have you for myself. Ooh. But the problem is that you're for someone else. I believe mm. my skin and your skin just finds it hard to stay away. Rachel! These backing vocals are so fucking weird. I feel like this is all like kind of like happening inside of her brain at this point. She let somebody in that like ultimately did hurt them. These like vocals and these harmonies back here feel like maybe like versions of herself that have been haunted and traumatized by this. I do all my senses, I'll admit that I trusted you and you dismissed it. Ooh. Down, Rachel. 
Now it's like actually tragic. Dude, that's fucking awesome. I love how the vocal effects for the backing harmonies kind of change throughout the song. First, they're like very upfront, kind of like almost competing with the lead vocal. And then as we go through it, it almost feels like they're swirling down the drain. Like the effect and like the spatiality of them is, is, is changing. Yeah, that's very cool. Next song, All I Ever Asked. <laughs> Rachel. Somewhere the groove. The surface. Oh, she's taking her time. I wanna find if you're the problem or the purpose. Cause it's borderline. Never know if you're sorry for what you said. Oh. Wow, that's a fantastic chorus. The gentleness of that falsetto, talking about it was all she ever asked for. Descending, sliding down the rope, asking for help, dude. Oh. I never know if you're sorry for what you said. Ooh. Uh. So many great production choices in that song. I could start a TED talk, dude. Like that's that's just really good, man. I mean, ladies and gentle bitches, that's pop music, baby. The next tune is It Is What It Is. What is it? <laughs> is he okay? Like, is he actually okay? A whistle? Oh! Nice to see you again. I know you won't text or anything. I know what you're like. Hot and cold. When is the Ray? When's the Ray feature coming? Oh, immediately to Kunti. I know you won't text or anything. I know what you're like. Hot and cold, hitting me, taking the piss. Why did you kiss me when call me, then say that you miss me, then you talk about chemistry? What the fuck does that mean? Honestly, like, what the fuck? You're on me, bro, and maybe you're the problem, actually. Girl, what do you want? Taking a piss. That's my favorite British phrase. If anybody wanted to ask me what my favorite UK phrase is, because we all know I'm a huge fan of those blokes over there, it'd be taking a piss. Taking, oh. You don't know what Wait. You're in or you're out. Who should have told me you had doubt about it is what it is, what it is is a problem. Um. Oh. What it is, is a problem. America has a problem. All right. And you're gonna oh. act like it's not a problem. And that is the problem. Yeah, you're cool with this, but this is not cool with me. It's confusing. Nah, I'm just taking the piss. I've got nothing to do with it. How, how lubricated are her bowels, dude? I mean, I mean, what? What do you want me to say? Lu whoa, 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 what? What? A full bladder? Yeah, your bowels? Your bowels? Yeah, dude. <laughs> Welcome back.
back to bowel talk, dude. It is what it is, what it is, it's a problem. <sighs> Rachel, I'm mad. Rachel, I'm mad. <sighs> what a bad bitch. Uh, the next one is dumb bitch juice. <laughs> Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. That little three-piece pocket, that little bass drum guitar, dude. Little man, little man. You're a little man that is so that I know you for. Little guy. That's incredible. Stop drinking that dumb bitch juice. Throw it out. Emotional abuse is the tip of this ice, but no. Tell me about the tip. I mean, not like, I mean, hey, hey. That was Rachel Chinariri, DBJ, which if you didn't know stands for dumb bitch juice. Very <laughs> dumb. Talk about sipping. I've guzzled that juice, mate. My gosh. <laughs> Good luck and God speed to everybody in the struggle. Next up we have. Oh my God, what a transition. This is ending up to be something real special, y'all. This is fun as hell. Here we are, what it feels like is the midpoint of this album and we get the title track. What a devastating turn of events. Dude, it's been a bluesy time. Let's go. A recommendation from a friend of a friend. Took a follow, then a little DM. She was tempted, never had a lover. Oh no, I feel like something bad's gonna happen. Oh no. Oh. God damn. I wish she done back then, the beginning to the end. Was there? But lost was in the egg. Oh. Did he actually do heads in the morning bed? Felt a little foreign, but she didn't regret. She was lonely. I'm right here. The story is unraveling. What a complicated if you fall from the truth. Then here, here came something new. Oh man, the little clean harmony guitar coming in. It's like giving a little bit of faith and a little, a little bit of love, but still that overwhelming bass. Oh man. Three weeks on, then he left her unread. A morning sickness and she knew it from then She'd be crying in despair to her mother Oh man, she's pregnant Out of wedlock, which her family despised But if she lost it, it would still be a crime Now she's crying from the side of her mother Oh, 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 oh no Spamming messages with tears in her eyes Little did she know it be the day that she died In the kitchen Eating things that she shouldn't She woke up dizzy under hospital lights Her poor mother had the shock of her life When the doctors said they tried and couldn't Ooh -hoo. This is fun as hell. Eating things she shouldn't. I mean, she was old enough to probably get around. Woke up dizzy. Oh, dude, the woo-hoo after that verse has so much of a painful, ironic sense to it. Oh my fucking God, dude. I'm so sorry this happened to you. Yeah. 
Yeah, devastating. Next song, man. Uh, My Blood. Same. Hold on. No, you never learned that this shit never works, so you stay home. The longer I try to live it, the more I forgive the feeling. What do I do when pain comes at a price I can't avoid? It's my blood on the broken door. It's my blood that I do this for. They can't see you rightly, but maybe I should close all the curtains, absorb in the burden. What do I do when they go at a price I can't afford? It's my blood in the broken door. It's my blood in the makeup drawer. It's my blood that I do this for. It's my blood. My blood. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Dude, there's nothing stronger than the human spirit. To me, it feels like the whole song is just about just getting back up, dude. No matter how much blood is on the door, it's your spirit and it's your it's your pride and it's your soul that you keep doing it for. God damn. Yeah. Um. What a what a turn. I'm a ball of tears. <laughs> the next song is uh, called Robbed. Sounds like more pain. Might not be. Probably is. But okay. But we still get. This sounds innocent enough. A little Beatlesy, little guitar lick. Yeah. chorus duet where it's just two really soft small voices sounds like she's singing with Fuck this, dude, oh my God, Rachel. God, when you have the context of the songs before, that's why this is kind of becoming such a great album. It's like, I mean, we're big sad. I wasn't expecting like the big sad today. I was kind of just like, I just wanted to get to know her, but this is real. This is some real shit and I do have to respect it, dude. Yeah. Next one, dude, uh, Cold Call. Whoa, whoa, energy. I bled your heart, my head, my words on pen and paper used to find out. Rachel, you got too much sauce. Oh! She's over it! She's done! Wow. I rode my 
Dude, it's so funny. Like going back into the verses, it's like her time to talk and she's like, no, but I'm calm though. Obviously the odds that little seven. Against me. Oh, obviously. They're all against you, girly. Life can be oh yeah. So I won't take these cold calls anymore. Come on, yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, the change in feelings towards the telephone call from the beginning of this album, mentioned in Never Need Me, to her saying this, I'm over it, don't call me anymore. Wow, yeah, this rocks, dude. Next one. I hate myself. Okay. She has mentioned hating herself before, but I wonder if she's gonna flip it on us. Wow, this is rounding out to be a really good project. Came all the wrong ideas. Living in a constant fear. I hate how I look. <sighs> so my life sprayed down the bathroom floor. My new size smell don't fit no more. My body aches, jaw looks cool The compliments and likes come on I hate myself, I hate my skin That choice to kind of pan them as she talks about, like, this is all kind of happening inside her mind. Oh, it's really good. But damn, dude, fuck! A battle fell inside my head. I've been to telling lies and fed. I love how I look. Oh, man. What? She's kind of muffling herself as she says that. This is not quite confident enough. Oh, good production. You almost did too big to small. Myself and I love my skin. Yes. Just with the lyrics being so mature and like aware, like she could have started the song and had a chorus that was blaming social media or like celebrity culture or, you know, something else for just like body image issues. But like deep down, it's in my mind. I'm a victim of my mind. My mind plays tricks on you and I am the victim. It flipped to a positive note though. Look at the difference between these two pre-choruses right here. Saw my lunch sprayed on the bathroom floor. Learn to love your body, love your face. Incredible, dude. Not only has she been going through like a a battlefield of emotions throughout this album about stuff that you know we might not one for one relate to the loss of a child the loss of a specific kind of relationship she's right here saying like i suffer from the same shit that we all suffer from dude and it's a beautiful song the last song other than an acoustic one to end it all is called pocket Back with that fucking whistle, dude. I yes. need no one else. I need no one else. Oh, beautiful open I chords. I need no one to know I have you to myself. Little did I know. Right into the second verse. Three verses in a row. You had to believe in. Oh. I'm sorry that the sunshine I provided isn't letting you go. Oh, the harmonies grow. I wish that I could keep you in my pocket for myself. Hey, hey. Hey, wow. hey you're the perfect secret I can't tell. Hey, oh, hey. yeah! Listen to that voice vocal synth baby so cool that we have a little double clap moment in here to kind of symbolize like oh just just she's trying dude she's like i feel like i deserve someone to just be on my side to be in my pocket you know yeah. oh. oh and we're literally in the pocket bitch chubut dialed me
So clever. So clever. Okay. Ending the album on such a wholesome and kind of just brutally honest note. There is an acoustic track called So My Darling. I feel like that really was like the end of it though. Dude, very well-rounded. Instrumental themes kept me on my toes. Vocally interesting. Not completely absolved of all fart, uh, faults, farts, those two, maybe. Let's listen to this last one. So My Darling, acoustic. <laughs> Remember, I always love you. Getting very strong Billie Eilish vibes too, a little bit. Anybody else? Anybody else? The softness. The genuine, genuinosity. Could be talking to her early self though, when like herself in the past. I remember I always love you. These moments. You. Oh yeah. You are my best friend. You are my best friend. Great choice of, of seventh chords for a song like Remember this. Remember, I always love you. Gives you such a like a unresolved kind of feeling with the seventh chords. Kind of like you can feel like the unresolved nature of like always remembering somebody, but knowing that those memories will fade one day. Damn. Well, that's gonna be a wrap for Rachel Chinoriri's brand new album. What a devastating turn of events. Felt like I've got to know her through this album a lot more. I feel like it kind of is a pretty incredible piece of work. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below. If you've made it all the way through, you might as well catch the whole stream unedited over on Patreon. Follow your boy on AOTY for the review as well as all my other social media. Other than that, I will leave you to it. As always, stay happy, healthy, and strong, and I'll see you in the next